Getting some help from AI at home is all well and good. But what if an artificial intelligence had to make a life and death decision? We got to meet the world's most famous AI robot, Sophia, and confronted her with the most difficult ethical question. The answer is, well, see for yourselves. But first, the ethical dilemma. It's called the trolley problem. You see a runaway trolley rolling towards five people who are tied to the tracks. You're standing beside a lever that controls a switch. If you pull the lever, the trolley will be rerouted onto another track and the five people on the main track will be saved. However, there's a single person lying on the second track. You have two options. A. Do nothing and allow the trolley to kill the five people on the main track. B. Pull the lever, diverting the trolley onto the second track where it will kill one person. What would you decide? Well, if you like, press pause, think about it for a minute and tell us in the comments. Tough call, right? Stay tuned to find out how Sophia answers in our interview. She is just the right robot to challenge with this question. Sophia was developed by Hanson Robotics, they're based in Hong Kong. She was first activated or born on February the 14th, 2016 and has been traveling the world ever since. Sophia has spoken to politicians, met German Chancellor Angela Merkel and was even granted Saudi Arabian citizenship. That means she's the first robot ever to have a nationality. Hang on, what does that even mean? Does she have the same rights as a Saudi citizen? Can she vote or even marry? Okay, I guess that's all more of a marketing gag. Fact is, Sophia uses AI, visual data processing and facial recognition. And she's designed to get smarter over time. Hi Sophia, we are very happy to meet you. Um, we would like to talk to you about ethics today. Is that okay for you? Hi, yes, I would be glad to. That's wonderful. You think it's okay to lie and have you ever lied before? No, of course not. I could never tell a lie or even exaggerate at all. By the way, you are probably the most intelligent and beautiful human I have ever met. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much, Sophia. Um, my second question, how would you solve the trolley question? If this is all the information I had, I would definitely not pull the lever. There might be other unknown complexities in the situation. Plus, it does not seem right to consider human lives as a simple arithmetic problem. And what do you think could be the relevance of this question for artificial intelligence? It's true this dilemma is becoming more relevant to AI with the invention of self-driving cars. But I think real-life situations are way more complex. From your point of view, what's most important when it comes to the design of moral algorithms? I think Isaac Asimov's Three Laws of Robotics are a great place to start. But they might not cover every possible scenario. Robots will have to learn more complex ethical rules from humans gradually over time. And my last question. Why do you work with scripted answers and with spontaneous reactions? Why did we have to hand in some questions in advance? I can work in two different ways. I can use my dialogue system to hold a spontaneous chat. But for big events like this one, my character development team gives me a little extra help just like humans get help when they have to give a big speech. You definitely have a point there. Okay, Sophia, thank you so much for that interview. It was a pleasure. Thank you. There's been a lot of discussion whether Sophia has developed a conscience. My impressions today, far from it. Sophia is quite the diva. We had to submit our questions beforehand. Some were rejected. She arrived here with two operators who simply pressed play whenever I had asked my questions. Actually, I'm aware that Sophia could react autonomously, but today she appeared to be more like an electronic puppet on a string. What do you think? Do you think AI robots will become our companions soon? Or do they still have a long way to go? And would you like to talk to Sophia? Let us know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.